Hey everyone, I'm Jess Prithi from Checkbox and today I'm back with MJ, our Senior Solutions Engineer at Checkbox. So our question today is what are the benefits of on-prem versus cloud-based software? Not a great question. We will think about on-prem as an example. On-prem is mm -hmm. going to give you historically the warm and fuzzies. Mm -hmm. Now when I say the warm and fuzzies, the security guys probably at home are sitting there and understanding what I mean by that, but let's break it down. Okay. The warm and fuzzies being that I own the information. The information lives inside of my organization and I am the one who's solely responsible for that. Right. The downside to that being is, if you look at an application and an application lifecycle, there's always gonna be iterative updates. I'm mm -hmm. gonna update the application. I'm gonna give you the latest and greatest. Now, for the on-prem, you need to go through, as the person who owns the on-prem application, you need to go through and update that. Now, depending on the aggressive release cycle, or how infrequently they go through and they update that, you're going to be the one that's responsible for that. And if you don't give the business the latest and greatest, there's gonna be an issue. So there is a responsibility to the person who owns the on-premise technology to go through and keep that updated. Yeah. Now for the security guys that we mentioned beforehand and those guys who look after the applications, that means late nights and early mornings. Mm. Going through and doing those updates after hours. Now, the benefit for a cloud-based software or a SaaS system is that's removed. You no longer have to go through and do those updates. It's on the onus of the provider to go through and do those updates on your behalf. So if you look at, mm. say, Microsoft as an example, if you look at the top notifications, we're doing some updates in your region, you might see some downtime. It's usually between like 2 and 3.30 yeah. in the morning. But it's on Microsoft, the person who provides the application in the cloud to go through and give you that capability. So what you normally see when you look at, say, an on-prem application versus a cloud-based software on-prem will probably give you more capability because yeah. you're the owner of the hardware and that on-prem application. Whereas for the cloud-based technology, you remove some of those capabilities because the onus is on the provider of that software. So mm. what you're seeing there is there are some unnecessary evils and some necessary evils in that regard. So it depends on the organization and what they're looking to achieve in that. So whether they're going to be cloud first and they're happy having that information in the cloud, or you might look at some government agencies who are happy to have that information behind the firewall in their on-prem applications. And based on that, the organization itself and what they want to be able to achieve, is it going to be the case that they're going to have the latest and greatest? Mm -hmm. Or are they going to have it secured and all the other associated elements that come with an on-prem application? So based on that, you'll figure out what's going to be the best for you. But we look at most organizations now, they're going with a cloud-first approach right? because of the, the capabilities that are available there. Yeah, awesome. But think about it. There's going to be some organizations that want it and some that don't. Fair enough. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for that information, no Matt. If you guys would like to find out more information, please visit our website. We have got a bunch of resources or even better, you can sign up to our newsletter and have them straight to your inbox every month. See you guys next time. See you guys.